excited I am for today. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Long before I ever moved into Alaska. What day is this? It's the day that I'm going fishing. Finally, it is here. I am so excited and I'm excited that I get to bring you along for it. exactly sure why I didn't go last year. Maybe because there was so much going on and over the summer that I just didn't take the opportunity. But this year, I'm making it a point to get out and see Alaska. So hopefully I have some success today, but today is a day to basically test my gear. My gear has been in storage since I moved to Alaska. I haven't touched it, looked at it, done anything with it until this week. And it needs a lot of work. And so I'm heading up to Seven Mile Lake off of the Denali Highway. When I first got to this lake this morning, there was an older gentleman that was fishing here. And he told me that last night, the fish were jumping right here behind me. And unfortunately, what he also told me was that those fish are lakers. So I should be in the deepest part of the lake fishing. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I don't have a boat. Uh, so I have no way of getting to the middle of the lake. So what I'm using instead is my spinning rod with a bubble. I'm gonna fill this with water and it'll have a little bit of an air pocket in it, which will allow it to float on top of the water, but the water in it will give me some distance. And then I'm just using a fly and I'm gonna see if I can get the fish to rise. So it's starting to sprinkle outside. So I'm gonna get my waders on and get started. I think I gained some weight since the last time.
All right, wish me luck. Gonna see if I can catch myself a lake trout. After a rough start to the fishing, which didn't really surprise me. I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, I knew that my gear was not in the best of condition. But it turns out it may be in worse condition than I thought. And also, I'm really out of practice. I haven't fished in about two years. And I'm all self-taught. Everything I know about fishing other than the little trick I showed you about using the bubble and the fly, I learned on my own. The bubble and the fly, I learned from some guy, some old gentleman on the side of a lake, a small little lake in Colorado. And he had the teeniest, tiniest little flies, little teeny tiny gnats and mosquitoes, but so tiny. But he is the one that taught me that. And I love, that is my favorite way to fish is with that bubble and the fly. But speaking of favorite way to fish, one of the other things I love to do is to find new fishing spots. So since I'm not having any luck here, let's head down the road and see what else we can find. At the very least, I'll get a scenic drive out of it. And I do understand that there are some roadhouses um, just down the road here. I don't know how many miles they are, but that way, I'm guaranteed to get a bite. It is absolutely gorgeous back here. I. Uh, I'm blown away by the scenery and how stunning it is. I wish I could get all of it on camera and show you the entire road, but this video would be extremely long if I did that. So hope you're enjoying the little bits that I am showing though.
About 40 to 45 miles down the Denali Highway towards Cantwell, you'll come across the McLaren River House. I recommend that you stop in there for some of the best berry pie and homemade churned ice cream that you will ever find. The place is super cute. In fact, I would say that this has probably got to be one of the nicer roadhouses in Alaska. If ever I was traveling through here and wanted to stay the night, I would book a room here for sure. After I left the McLaren house, as I continued up the Denali Highway, I did see just right there at the McLaren River house that there was a helicopter that was taking supplies up to a remote cabin that was being built. That was pretty cool to see. where I need to improve my equipment. My equipment had been in storage since before I moved to Alaska and so it has seen better days. The other thing is is that I might not be using the right equipment. I also need to do a little bit of practice on my fly fishing. Being self-taught I guarantee you that I never learned the proper way. I know in my head what it's supposed to be, but in reality, it comes across totally different. And my um, tippet with the fly on it is not landing nicely on the water. It's landing in a pile, which is not good. I'm having to constantly reel in and recast and that's taking time away from actually fishing. And so I need to get these things corrected for sure. I did see some spots that I could fish at, but it's getting late in the day. And so I think I'm gonna head back to the cabin because as you've noticed, I don't have Kenai with me. And so I need to go tend to him. I will be doing a lot more fishing this summer. And I'm sure that on some of my upcoming trips, I'm guaranteed to get some fish. Uh, one is I have chartered a fishing boat down on the Kenai Peninsula. I'll also be doing some dip netting on the Copper River and some other fishing around uh, various places here in Alaska. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe so that you don't miss any of my adventures and remember to turn on that bell notification. Oh, and while you're doing that, remember to hit that like button too. And until next time, please stay safe and take care. And again, thanks for joining me on today's adventure.